Welcome, and thank you for joining us as we announce the finalists for the 2020 Techni Awards. My name is Jeff Tollefson, and I serve as president of the Minnesota Technology Association. And I'm Jay Denson. I'm the director of member community engagement with the Minnesota Technology Association. Jeff and I are thrilled to share the names of the companies and the organizations chosen as finalists by our esteemed judging panels. Now in its 23rd year, the Techni Awards is an opportunity to shine a spotlight on the new and innovative ways technology is impacting our community and our world. Each year, we're amazed and inspired by the innovators, the organizations, and the leaders really driving change in our community, and 2020 was no exception. With so many great applications coming in, it was really hard for our judges to narrow it down to just a few finalists in each category. Jeff, I'm just in awe with the talent we have here in Minnesota. The competition was once again steep this year. One of the things I've grown to really appreciate about the Technies is just as technology evolves each passing year, so do the award categories. This year, we will be awarding Techni Awards in 16 primary categories, with at least half of these being new or repositioned for this year. In a year full of change, the reimagined award categories was great to see and well-received in our tech community. I completely agree, Jade. So now on to the awards. Let's get this started. So we're going to be awarding awards in various categories. So be four major groupings, a total of 16 awards. And we're going to start out with business enablement through technology. Awards in this category recognize organizations leveraging technology to enable innovation to achieve business goals. The first category in this group is for AI and machine learning, where we look to honor organizations developing and or utilizing software systems that stimulate human intelligence in innovative and impactful ways. And the finalists for AI machine learning are Better You, Rebel Health, 3M, and Optum. Our second category is data analytics, where we recognize innovation in the process of inspecting, cleansing, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information in support of decision making. This year's Techni finalists are Who Knew It, Ability Network, and Calabrio. Next up is data security shining a spotlight on innovative products or services that safeguard businesses and enterprises from unintended or unauthorized access. The finalists in the data security category are Ostra, TechDump, and Code42. Up next is another new category this year, digital marketing celebrating marketing initiatives that leverage digital technologies and channels to better connect prospects and customers. Finalists for the Digital Marketing Award are Tudheim Partners, Sports Digita, and Irish Titan. Our next category is Digital Transformation, honoring organizations using digital technologies to create new or modifying existing business processes culture and customer experiences to meet changing business and market requirements. The finalists for this award are Unisys, Accenture, and HGA. And the final category in the business enablement group is edge computing and IoT, recognizing innovative approaches to making objects smarter through embedded technology and connections to a network. The award finalists include Packet Power, Medtronic, F3 Wireless. Now on to our next grouping of awards, with six awards honoring innovation in Minnesota's leading industries. The first category is Advanced Manufacturing, celebrating innovation and pioneering efforts in the utilization of technology to more efficiently design and produce new products or improve processes for manufacturing existing products. The award finalists are Third Wave Systems, Net Zero, Diversified Plastics, and Seagate Technology. Next 
Next up, the Award for Financial Services Technology, where we honor technology innovation that improves the delivery and use of financial services to businesses and customers. The Techni finalists are Apex, ICP Inc., Certify, Don't Blink. And now on to healthcare information systems, recognizing new approaches or advancements in digital systems that capture, process, transmit, report, or otherwise manage health data and activities. Our 2020 finalists are Medicom Health, Provation Medical, and Flywheel. The next category is clearly one of Minnesota's leading industries, and that's medical technology and devices, where we shine a spotlight on significant achievements in medical product design and engineering that improve the quality of patient care and healthcare delivery. The finalists for this award are Activated Research Company, Phenomics Sciences, Zipnosis, Histosonics, a new category in the leading industry grouping is the award for retail supply chain and distribution, recognizing applications of technology to improve customer shopping experiences and the means by which products find their way to consumers. The finalists for this award are SPS Commerce, Railbox Consulting, and Digital River. And the final award for this grouping for sustainable resources, honoring utilization of technology to more efficiently and sustainably manage resources related to things like energy, water, or food. Our 2020 finalists include Claros Technologies, Earth Scout, and Counterflow Technologies. Our third award grouping is under the heading of Vibrant Tech Ecosystem. Awards in this group reflect key players and programs that are essential to building a more vibrant and inclusive tech ecosystem in our state. We will lead off with the award for Technology Partnership, where we will honor the technology vendors and partnerships that corporate leaders rely on to power their systems and enable business transformations. And the finalists for this award are Three Bridge Solutions, Generator, and structural. Up next are the two Tech Talent Awards. The first category is Tech Talent Solution Provider, which highlights the important work being done by organizations helping to address our tech talent gap by recruiting, training, preparing, and optimizing the digitally fluent workforce Minnesota companies need for continued business success. Our judges picked just two finalists for this year's award, those being Genesis 10, and New Vision Foundation. The second award is Tech Talent Corporate Initiative, recognizing innovative approaches to hiring, developing, and retaining tech talent at an organization. The finalists for this award are Software for Good, Target, and Thomson Reuters. In the final award category in the Vibrant Tech Ecosystem grouping, is Tech for Good, recognizing novel implementations of technology to serve an unmet community need. Our judging panel selected five finalists for this award, including We Sparkle, Lando Lakes, Analytics for Good Institute, Tech Dump, and Giacom Inc. Wow, Jeff, I'm still in awe at what an impressive list of finalists we have for this year's Techni Awards. And I can't wait to hear more about what each of these organizations has done to be honored as finalists at our November 18th awards ceremony. Me too. And, and the good news is we're not done with the finalists. We have one more award category, one that I wish we didn't have to have. And it's related to COVID-19, which is you know, unfortunately impacted our, our world in so many ways over the past 10 months. But we did want to take an opportunity here to recognize some companies and organizations that have really risen to the challenge in helping address some of the public health and economic issues that COVID-19 has uh, really forced us to deal with, which is why we're so proud to have a special Techni Award 
for COVID-19 community response. This has truly been a tough year for our city and state, and frankly, the country. Between COVID, a weakened economy, the murder of George Floyd, social unrest, and so much more, it's really hard to stay focused and celebrate other things that are happening in our community. But one thing we can definitely celebrate is the way so many Minnesota organizations have rose to the occasion and are helping us battle the impact of COVID-19. With so many great submissions for this award, it was truly hard to narrow it down to just three or four, which is why we didn't. And we have 10 finalists for this very special recognition award. And here they are. 3M, Ecolab, University of Minnesota Office of Technology Commercialization, Graco, Venue Screen, Apple Valley High School, Nightcrawler Robotics from Irondale High School, Zipnosis, DigiKey, and Clarals Technologies. Well, that wraps up the finalist announcements for this year's Techni Awards. And in the coming weeks, we will be announcing the individuals that we'll be honoring for special Technies for Lifetime Achievement, Public Service, and one new award that I'm really excited about that recognizes a rising star in our Minnesota technology community. We cannot wait to share these names and honor those individuals at our Techni Award celebration. Indeed. And thank you, Jade, for uh, joining with me here today and announcing these finalists. And in closing, we just want to congratulate again all the Techni Award finalists and those that applied for the awards for all that you're doing to make our technology ecosystem stronger. Uh, we are a stronger community because of you, and for this, we're most grateful. We will soon share more information about uh, the Techni Awards coming up on November 18th. And we look forward to seeing you virtually at that time. Thank See you, you all so there. Much. Have a good one.